Hey everybody, today we're taking a first look at Hostage Negotiator. This is a single player game developed by uh, a developer we've seen many times before, done some great work, uh, Peter Kostitz, and it's really a fun single player experience. So let's take a look at this uh, solo game, Hostage Negotiator. This game has a pretty heavy theme. You're dealing with criminals who have taken uh, people hostage and you're doing your best to rescue as many as you can and uh, try not to get uh, too many of them killed or hopefully none of them killed. Uh, you do this through a series of playing cards and rolling dice. Each turn you will start with a hand of cards. These cards allow you to roll dice depending on your threat level and for each success you get you will receive different rewards. So it really depends on the situation that you're trying to do, the successes you're going to get, and you only have a 30% of success on each dice, so there is a lot of chance for failure. In this case, we managed to rescue a hostage by playing uh, the minor extraction card. Whenever you play a card, that card actually leaves your pool, and you don't get the card back until uh, you purchase it again. So there are some cards that cost zero cost, or there are cards that cost uh, conversation points. You'll earn those by playing cards. So it's all a balancing act of trying to play as many cards as you can and then acquiring needed cards to uh, keep your engine flowing and heading towards your goals. If a majority of the hostages are ever killed, you lose. If you manage to rescue enough of the hostages and there are no hostages remaining, you win. So it's all about trying to balance your options and getting to this point as quickly as possible. This game has a pretty dark theme, but I think it deals with it fairly respectfully. Um, it's not making jokes or anything like that. It's definitely you trying to deal with a, a very intense situation, and it definitely creates a sense of hopelessness, <laughs> at least in my early playthroughs. It's pretty challenging, and you're not going to succeed right away, but you definitely can see places where you could have improved and pass to move forward in the future. Peter's translation of these single-player games to mobile is pretty excellent. Sure, they're not going to win any uh, beauty awards necessarily, but they really allow you to play these single-player games quickly and easily. So if you've had interest in, interest in Hostage Negotiator before, this is a great place to try it out and a really great place to experience it. I'm looking forward to really diving into this game more as kind of a you know waiting for the bus type game and really seeing if I can conquer it. So this has been Hostage Negotiator, and it's a great little single-player game that's worth checking out and is available today on digital platforms.